Uh. Oops. Hello there. We're back here again with your self-proclaimed best internet girl, Carmilla. I've been kind of long into the internet. <sighs> I've been through the internet and I've shown my personalities. So today we're going to look into the 16 personalities to determine what my Myers Briggs type of personality that I am. Okay then, let's jump right to it and take the test. It's so incredible to finally be understood. Take our personality test and get a freakishly accurate description of who you are and why you do things the way you do. That's probably the kind of answers that people are interested in learning about me or not. But hey, let's just take the test to understand. Okay, you regularly make new friends. <laughs> no, I don't make friends. I am bad at having conversation, like meeting new people terrifies me and oh, uh, it's kind of, it's hard for me to say that, but I've been trying to be more open about it. I mean, I'm trying to be more outgoing in terms of that. You spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Yes. I spend a lot of time thinking. I'm an overthinker if that's what people are categorizing me as. I really get uh, drowned in my own thoughts and it's kind of frustrating because when you're thinking about stuff and people kind of want to talk with you you're kind of wandering off far far away in a galaxy nobody knows about Seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. No, I don't have that in me. You often make a backup plan for a backup plan. No, I'm just a person who likes to wing it. Like, I never plan anything. I would just go and do stuff that... Even I don't know what I'm going to do. Even... Like filming this video, I don't know what kind of video I wanted to make. So here I am. Disagree. I'm over the place kind of person. You usually stay calm, even under a lot of pressure. Nope. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. Yes, that's me. Next, um, you prefer completely finish one project before starting another one. I am a really disorganized person and I like to nibble bits of things like I like to do this kind of things and then I nibble this project, I nibble this, I nibble that and it's sort of become a jumble of mess. Even I can't fix that. <laughs> so, totally disagree. You're very sentimental. If it involved myself, yes. If it, like, you know, there's those types of person who cry whenever seeing another person cry. I'm not that. If I remember something that um, like this, like this. If I remember something that traumatized me in the past, maybe I would cry. If it doesn't concern myself, I don't think I can 
um, feel a certain way about that if you know what I mean so it's kind of yes and a no I kind of agree you like to use organizing tools like schedules and list nope I'm really disorganized even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge most people don't know this about me but I am someone who is who was categorized as a gifted child I do things out of my realm of um, capabilities and people would be amazed at whatever I did as a child so growing up I kind of feel like I can do something that really um, amazing with my kind of talent but as you grow you the talent that people recognize you as a child it's kind of disappeared and <laughs> yes you feel like you're a nobody and it gets frustrating sometimes so yes even a small mistake can makes me doubt my overall abilities and knowledge yes i agree with that you feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation no you're not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analyses of creative works. I have to disagree with that because I like art, I like music, I like making stuff and yeah, I totally disagree because I like to see things in a different perspective. You are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. No. I would do whatever my heart feels like at the time. You usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning of a particular daily routine. Yes. You rarely worry <laughs> What's up with my arms? You rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. I worry about that really because i don't meet many people so when i do meet a certain people whom i think i should be making an impression on i tend to worry a lot about that <laughs> like whether i make a good impression where i make a bad impression if i feel like i made a bad impression impression on that people on that person i would just stray away and hide myself in the corner never to see the light of day you enjoy participating in group activities no i prefer to be alone you like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the endings It is true to a certain extent, but I kind of want to see the ending. Your happiness comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. Nope, I don't feel that way. You're interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Yes, I have a lot of hobbies I like to so i like to make music i like to play my instrument i like to make accessories i like to eat if that's a hobby <laughs> you're prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse yes i have a lot of anxieties you avoid leadership roles in group settings Yes, I hate having responsibilities. 
You're definitely not an artistic type of person. Completely disagree. You think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings. Nope. I feel like there are some type of stuff that you should be relying your heart from. If you relied everything on rationality only, you would be like a robot. You would be no different than a robot. Right? So, I have to disagree. You prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax. <laughs> I like to procrastinate a lot, so nope. You enjoy watching people argue. Are you a sociopath? No. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. Avoid drawing attention. Yes. That's me, but I'm drawing attention to myself lately, so... Your mood can change very quickly, yes. I can be happy one time and I can be sad next minute. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient as you. Kind of, but not really. I tend to... Wait, because I believe people have their own pace. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. Yep. <laughs> you have always been fascinated by the question of what, if anything, happens after death. Yes, I would agree with that. You usually prefer to be around others rather than your own. Disagree. I enjoy my alone time. Thank you very much. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. Not really, because I feel like theories and feelings go hand in hand. So um, it's a point of interest whether you're rationality and your feelings can go and work together you find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours i don't know i am not easily swayed but i try to be more accepting of others so I'm not easily swayed though, so kind of a no disagreeance. You usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Yep. <laughs> you rarely second guess the choices that you have made. I second guess everything, so disagree. After a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is just what you need. Nope, after a long and exhausting week, a secluded area of me and my mind is needed. So, disagree. Do you enjoy going to art museums? Yes, I enjoy it very much. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. If it concerns something that I've felt in the past, I can sort of understand what other people are feeling if I haven't been experiencing the same thing as that other person people are then i completely don't feel connected to feel the same way so i don't understand kind of agreeing you like to have a to-do list for each day nope i like to do whatever i feel like doing you rarely feel insecure 
Nope, I feel insecure all the time. I'm sorry if you feel like that I am perfect or anything, but I feel insecure about everything, even my looks. I feel like I'm too this, I'm too that, but yeah. yeah. You avoid making phone calls. Yes. I have a terrible anxiety with hearing a real-time conversation with people. I prefer to text only. So, you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from yours. Yes, because it interests me sometimes. Just sometimes. In your social circle, you're often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. Nope, I am the last person that people needed in a social circle. <laughs> if your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. No, if my plans are interrupted, I would be doing something else. Disagree? You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Agreed. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Nope, I contemplate a lot. Cause when you live in a society, you're growing up, you see your family members doing stuff some people are just having more families they're making babies they're growing old and you're sort of questioned what's the purpose of my existence i am just living and breathing and eating without no purpose your emotions control you more than you control them. Yes, but I'm learning to control my emotions rather than letting it control me these days. You take great care not to make people look bad, even when it's completely their fault. It's kind of a yes or no. If they're close with me, maybe I would cover up their mistakes from others. If they're really stupid in making a certain decisions and they have some malice in them i tend to let it show so it's kind of a warning to another people so it's a yes and no but i kind of disagree Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent efforts. Yes. Agreed. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it would take them to feel disappointed in you. Yep. Every single time. Every single time I would feel that. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. Yes, I like my alone time, thank you. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. Nope. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmospheres than quiet, intimate places. Disagree. I like a quiet place where I can drown myself in my own thoughts. Yep. You know at first glance how someone is feeling. Um, kinda? It's true for some people but there are times I can't really understand someone is feeling because they're too closed off. Next. You often feel overwhelmed. Yes, because I have so many things I think about. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. Nope. 
You're very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. Well, yes. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Yes. You struggle with deadlines. Yes! You feel confident that things will work out for you. I am very anxious about things that sometimes so I'm not very confident in everything. Your personality type is a mediator. I am FPT. I am 94% introverted, 87% intuitive. My nature is more of a feeler. It's kind of half and half because I like to balance my rational thoughts and my feelings as I've said before. 99% prospecting. Identity is more turbulent. Read my profile. Although they may seem quiet or unassuming, mediators have vibrant, passionate inner lives, creative and imaginative. They happily lose themselves in daydreams, inventing all sorts of stories and conversations in their minds. These personalities are known for their sensitivity. Mediators can have profound emotional responses to music, art, nature and the people around them. Idealistic and empathetic. Mediators long for deep, soulful relationships and they feel called to help others. But because this personality type makes up such a small portion of the population, are you sure about that? Mediators may sometimes feel lonely or invisible, adrift in a world that doesn't seem to appreciate the traits that have made them unique. Mediators you may know G.R.R. Tolkien, William Shakespeare, York, Alicia Key, Tom Hiddleston, Julia Roberts, William Wordsworth, Johnny Depp. I'm the same personality type as Johnny Depp. What are the strengths and weaknesses that I have as an INFP? I am empathetic, generous, open-minded, creative, passionate, idealistic. And the weaknesses that I have, unrealistic, self-isolating, and focused emotionally vulnerable, desperate to please, self-critical. Yes, that's it. I got an INFP in Myers-Briggs personality type. And it's interesting to know your own personality type. And what does it say about me? Are you surprised about these results? Or are you just like, huh? figures <laughs> oh that's it please try the personality type test also because i'm curious what personality you have yes types in the comments below what i should do next too and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and stay safe wear a mask bye